Hi everyone. Uh, right, I've had a delivery from Tressor's Deluxe. Um, you most people know now uh, Lucy. They have awesome laces. Um, and if you remember the other night, I actually made this beautiful butterfly from one of her laces, and it's just using eight sections of the lace. And as you can see, it stands up on its own with the glue underneath. This uh, centre was made, the flower centre, was actually made from her flowers. And then I made up the central piece there. So I'm just going to show you that lace. Now, I did do this video once, and unfortunately, it didn't work. For some reason, I don't can't, I can't, it's my programme, and I'm going to get my daughter to have a look at it. I, well, I will when she comes up. Um, now, that's the pieces that that was made from. So you need eight sections of that. And it makes that stunning, stunning butterfly. Shabby chic, very elegant shabby chic butterfly. So that's that. Now today, another parcel arrived. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the bits from both parcels. Um, some I ordered. The majority of what you're going to see here was what Lucy sent me today. So I'm just going to move that to one side. Here's another lace that she sent. Uh, I mean, you could already make that into a butterfly as well. Just snip those off, turn them up the other way around, snip that out, place them where you want them to be placed. Um, and they just make awesome, awesome things. Um, they would make nice edging on something. Snip down the middle. And make that a nice edging. I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful things that... Uh, I mean, that's cream, and it's so elegant looking. I think from between white and cream, I prefer for elegance the cream. Um, depending on what you're putting with it, um, obviously depends um, on how elegant it's going to look. Another thing I want to tell you is I've seen and heard some people say they're not sure which way around the lace goes. I think I mentioned it in my last video. But I will tell you again, the shiny side up is the right side. The dull side isn't. But in laces, you could use either, it, depending on what project you're doing. If you want a more rough looking um, piece of lace, then use the underneath. If you want a more shiny look, elegant look, then you use the shiny section, the shiny side. But that's another lace that is just beautiful. It really is. Um, and like you say, all laces can be cut up and used however you want. Now I'm just going to show you another one, which is this one. These are the panels I've cut ready to use, I think. Yes. This is um, one long lace, like that. They're all gathered together, sectioned together, like that in a, uh, a line but most of the laces that Lucy sells all can be cut up so you can cut that up which I've done with mine because I want them for a project but look you could cut round that and you've got yourself a beautiful beautiful flower you can then cover that uh, soak it in um, the fabric stiffener it's got a loop on it already put some uh, earring sections on you know what goes through your ears and uh, you can make yourself your own earrings and then you could do these up with pearls or sequins or whatever you want to do with them. I mean, you could even use it like that as an earring, but I would personally cut that off. And I've shown you there is a video on how to do that with Lucy's um, laces, how to make beautiful, stunning earrings. So that's that one. They're cut ready to use. And that's to finish off. So that's that one. Now what I'm going to show you is one of the most beautiful ribbon, uh, not ribbon, um, lace I've ever seen, ever. I just think it's adorable. I did order this from Lucy. Um, I've shown it in white before. This is the cream. Absolutely amazing lace. And you get about 15 bows in a yard. And what it is is two layers of tulle. Two layers, one there, one there. Um, and you could even make something similar yourself, but if you you know if you wanted to experiment, but with this it's 
if you're going to treat yourself to a lace, go along to Tressor's Deluxe, to Lucy's store, and treat yourself to some of this. It is amazing. It's the softest, softest material ever. The beautiful satin bows and the double row of pearl. Now, you can cut individual ones out if you want. It's just stunning. And uh, I can't wait. I mean, I've got one on the go in a light cream. Well, it looks light cream to me. Um, as a gift, which I will be sharing. But I had to get some more of this because I just love it. And I'm going to stock up on this. <laughs> because it's, you know, you could do, oh God, if my daughter gets married, that's the sort of thing I would use for her. But look at that. Isn't that just stunning? So if you are going to treat yourselves, and everybody should treat themselves, run along and get yourselves some of that. So, just put that to one side. Now these are what came today, like I said. Um, and I'm just going to go through them. I have to say, Lucy, this time you sent me beautiful... I mean, they're all beautiful, but this time you sent me my favourite lace. Favourite type of lace to work with. Uh, these, love them. You can cut these out individually. Um, they would look nice up the spine of a book, and if you can, uh, let me just find something I can use. Um, let me just find something. Say so that's the spine of the book. See, you could do that. And you could have it both sides as well. It would look perfect. It's just stunning. But each one of those can be cut out as an applique. So that's fantastic. Thrilled with that one. Absolutely love this one. Wendy, if you get the chance to have some of this or if Lucy sends you some for any of your projects, I know Wendy, that's um, Lolly Dolly Crafts, who's on a design team, will use this to its fullest advantage. You know, she will make something stunning with it. Now, I have to say... One of my favourite things to do with this type of lace, with the scalloped edge, is to make the fan. And in doing so, you just gather it up, concertina it, like that. Put that on the corner of your project. Um, and you can glue the this section, the lowest section, down. And you keep going. And it makes a stunning, stunning fan, as you can see there. So I love working with laces like that. Love it. That, again, is cream. And it's just amazing to work with those. These are my types of laces to work with. Um, again, look at this. It, I don't know what... This particular one reminds me of winter frostiness. I don't know why. It's probably the way it's uh, embroidered on net. So that's maybe why, but just gorgeous. And that would look stunning in um, a fabric book. I don't know, whatever you want to use it on, that would be just stunning. I love this, absolutely love this one. I do like working with this, so you could have it either way. I prefer it the way with the bobble, like the, what I call a peak at the top. Just gorgeous, look at that. Now, the best thing about this one is it can be cut. Well, they all can, but this particular one, if I only wanted to use those two rows with that, then I'd just snip in and out of there. I, and to be quite honest, if I didn't want um, a six-inch piece, you know, wide, and I only wanted a couple of inches, I could get three lots out. A row full of this, just that, and then a row with the boat, with both the edging and that. And that would still make a fantastic project. But even that up the spine of a book. I'll show you again what I mean. If we have that on a book. Isn't that stunning? Like that. All of these flat laces uh, can be done up the spine of a book. But these are my all-time favourite laces to work with. This one these are new laces, all of these, and they are amazing. They really are. And what I like about them is they're solid. They're, they're really, really thick quality. 
good quality but um, like you said if you don't want all of this you can cut this section out cut that out so you've just got the middle like that you can just cut the flowers out you could cut the flower out put that up the front cover of a book so it'd be like that and put a picture behind each one of those that should be there and then put the flower somewhere else in the book so you've got fancy frames lots and lots of ways of using up that kind of lace it's just gorgeous and again another one of my favorites it's really thick quality good quality um material lace this is just stunning what i would like to do with this one is i could um if i was making one of those little uh, michael's bags do you remember the little uh michael bags the wooden ones they're like a little box but you make it into a bag um is to lay that on put some um paste over that and then peel that back to reveal that pattern that would be awesome lots and lots of ways these color really nicely they, they take to uh, the sprays and that very very well uh, again this one now I, what I like about this one it is raised all this uh, embroidery is raised so it's just gorgeous beautiful and this one is just oh well very delicate you know extremely um pretty um and you could do anything you want with it i would myself i want to make these sort of uh, laces into fans because you've got the nice scallop in that and then each one of these look they look really really pretty and to do a fan you want a, you want an elegant fan you need an elegant lace and that is uh, those for sure so thank you so much for those Lucy I, those I will be putting to good use soon um, she's also sent some bling so I'm just going to get the bling out and I'm going to lay it out and just talk about it and get that out so we'll just lay the bling out to start with stunning <laughs> absolutely you will find the links to all her products um, in the description box I'm not sure, um, and I hope Lucy won't mind me saying, I'm not sure how whether this is bought by the half yard or 12 inch or what. I'm not sure um, because I haven't bought this from her. This is what she sent me to show you. Um, and it, she has some awesome um, bling. So what I'm going to show you is this one first. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. All uh, can be cut individually. That would make a beautiful flower center. That would make a flower center. And then you've got two there. So that would be awesome for that. Now, I'll give you a tip. If you're making a bow, what a fantastic way to set a bow off is you snip that out and you lay that across the bow. You've got two large diamantes here and you could put a another pearl in the middle. Glue another pearl in. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And really shimmer up your bows. Again, this one. They're just stunning pieces of uh, bling. Again, this could be snipped here. And here, that could be used in the centre with another large pearl in the middle. Just fantastic. And I 
I love this one. Um, I love it because of the tiny little flowers. And, well, they're not that tiny, to be honest. They're not. Um, and, and they're all on a chain. So it wouldn't be hard to get them off. Or snip them off. But used on an elegant book. Hmm. I know Wendy would uh, make some good use of them. Just beautiful. Up the spine of a book, some edging. Fantastic. Love it. One of my favourites is this one. Again, it's done like on a chain. Um, beautiful, large bling pieces. All can be used in flowers and cut off. That could be used in a flower. Um, that section could be used in a, as a, you know, centre of a flower. These can be used elsewhere, edges or whatever. So, absolutely love it. Um, I'm just going to see if I can bring the camera in a little bit. So you can see. It's just stunning. Let me just check my mat. So there you are. I know it's not very, um, you know, I'll take some pictures and add them so you'll see just how clear it is. So I'm just going to move that to one side. Now, new products that she's got in the store at the moment are some stamps. Now, we do have the corset stamp. Not we, she, uh, Lucy. She's got the corset stamp. That is wonderful. I have tried that one out. Um, absolutely love that. The beautiful oil lamp. And the quill, the pen, feather pen, or feather quill. Great. I use the crackle and the, uh, the distress crackle paint and the colour wash on the box I did last night or night before, whenever it was. So that's those two make that result. And you can't see it on my camera, but there's some tiny, lots and lots, thousands of tiny veins where it's crackled. So that's that. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, that's the Adirondack Colour Wash. That is the Butterscotch. And this is the Distress Crackle Paint Tattered Rose. Now, on top of all of that, she sent me some of these laces, these uh, appliques. Again, absolutely beautiful. These have got iridescent sequins and pearls. See, this is elegance to me. <laughs> and will get used for, um, you know, on elegant things. Oh, she sent me two of those. Thank you, Lucy. Just gorgeous. And they are in cream. Then this is the iridescent again. The, like the collar. So the two separate pieces, iridescent sequins and pearls, absolutely stunning. So thank you again for those. Beautiful, love this one. Again, this is a pair with the droplet. Look at the work on this, it's just awesome. And they can be used for anything, absolutely anything. Uh, love this one. But you see, with me, I would, um, to be honest, if I'm, unless I'm putting this on a canvas or on a mannequin, then I would just cut and snip that out down there and make that two separate ones that I could use on a, a project somewhere. But I do have a mannequin in my living room when I did my living room shabby chic and that would look stunning actually <laughs> So you never know you might see it there uh, Beautiful absolutely beautiful. This is white Look at that not sure which way it goes. Don't think it matters Again iridescent sequins and beautiful pearls some rice pearls 
and some sm uh, small, I'd say they were about two millimetre pearl round ones. Um, and this one I love. What I like about it is these sections, all of this can be cut up, all of it. Look what you could do with that. Lots and lots of different things on a project. Or projects. All these little flowers can be used as well. Beautiful. I mean these, what I like about these, you can actually put a pearl there. Glue a pearl in. And, you know, tart them up as we say. And this one, love the colour. So I hope you can see that. Another stunning applique. Hope you can. Yes, I think you can. Just gorgeous. But again, each thing can be cut up into sections and used in your projects. Now, I've got a couple of projects on the go at the moment. I've got some more in the head <laughs> that uh, needs to get out. And I will be using a, a fair bit of these on them because these are perfect what's been sent this time. Now, the other things that she sent that I bought in my city, what I bought myself. Um, the findings, uh, they're absolutely brilliant. Look at these. Light bulbs. There you go, the light bulbs. I love them. You get them in a pewter, a silver and a bronze. Miniature light bulbs there. Nuts. We've got these in, oh, there's another one. I know there's several because I've undone them all. I've undone them because they're going into a... And there's some wire for the light bulbs. They're going into um, my box that I keep all this sort of thing in. Again, these are like nuts and bolts. These say art. Some have holes in. So there's a whole bunch of those in silver and bronze. Well, it's not bronze, it's like a copper, isn't it? copper colour so there's a whole bunch of those I bought uh, a few packs so these are what I actually bought from Lucy but if you're doing arts uh, and crafts like I do run along and get them you'll love them then we've got lamp posts <coughs> so here's the lamp posts I bought three different sets uh, with those come your little findings for your posts it's one per set, so you get that and some words. These are the words. So you've Memory Lane, Heritage Road. What's this one? Dream Garden. You know, they're your sets. Yeah, so I bought three different sets. They should be the same. Yeah. That's a set. And that's what I bought, three of those. Uh, and then they're selling these. You get them on a strip. Um, moments this way. I bought several of these. My place. Hello, boys. Come to say hello. Your path, dream road. Together. What do you want, boys? You can't go out because the children, they've only just left school, but the teachers are still in. So you can't go out just yet. No, don't, you they yeah, say that, home. You'll have to wait, boys. So that's that one. And then I bought another set, which were these. Um, which is Treasure Valley, The Place, Paradise, Lucky Road, Family Street, First. And you also got some bits with them as well some little findings so run along and have a look it's uh, Tresors Deluxe and they've got lots and lots of things for you to uh, play with treat yourself and uh, get using them I'm going to be doing some projects we're using these as well soon um, I will be doing some canvases because I love doing canvases but for now it's just to let you know I'll separate all these when I, I put them away in the box. It is just to let you know what Lucy very kindly sent and these items that I bought as well. Um, Love them. So let's have a look. I thought I'll get enough in to last. 
<clears throat> when you send from abroad, um, I do find it's cheaper if you, um, you know, buy a, a certain amount. Don't just buy one thing, buy a couple of items to make sure that the postage they, ch you know, do charge. I don't mean Lucy, but um, what the post offices around the world charge for the weight. So you might as well make use of it. Um, and that's it. So there you go. There's the stamps. There's the bling. And I will take some close-up pictures of this so you can have a really good look at it. So stay tuned for the pictures. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. And everything you'll find in the description. Um, the blog for Tressor's Deluxe. Her um, shop. Everything. Uh, and enjoy. Go and treat yourself. Bye-bye for now.